A few days ago someone made a game called 2048 or 2048. In it you use your arrow keys to move these tiles. So when you press the up arrow key, all the tiles will move up. When two tiles with the same number touch each other, they will merge into one bigger number. And it is your goal to get to a 2048 tile. Which is really hard by the way. So over time the numbers will be bigger and bigger and you need more and more space to get to the biggest number, thus making the game harder over time. If you want to play it, there's a link in the description. So check it out. Or not, because it's pretty addictive. Anyway, I wanted to make this in Minecraft of course, so I did, and this is the result. You walk left, right, forwards or backwards to move these tiles and to reset the game you can hit space at any time. It works exactly like the original game, well, okay, except for the smooth animations. If you want to download the map, there's a download link in the description for that too. So check it out, or not, because it's pretty addictive. Oh, um. To make the explanation a bit more understandable, I'll make the field a bit smaller. So let's say there's a 2 over here and a 0 over here. When you press up, the 2 should move up, but when this one isn't a 0, let's say it's a 4 for example, nothing should happen. However, when these numbers are the same, 2 2's for example, they should combine into a 4. Now we'll repeat that process a couple of times. We will move this one over here, this one over here and this one over here. Now we will move this one over here, this one over here, and lastly we'll move this one over here again. So let's see how that works out. I've got a two over here, here and here, and we'll do those six steps. And as you can see, we will end with a four and a two, just like in the original game. We'll do that process four times for every row, and we'll do that four times for every direction. But first we'll take a look at one of these steps, because what is actually going on over here? The answer is... Squids. We will make 16 squids, each with a different name, and now we can apply scores to those squids. These are just a few command blocks that are all powered in the right order. That's because this stone is set to redstone blocks and back to stone. Check out this video from Citrion, he explains how this thing works. So these 13 command blocks are the logic behind one single step. This entire row makes all six steps work, and this entire field makes one direction work. And all these four fields make all the directions work. And then there's this last row of command blocks that makes sure there is a new tile added every time you make a move. First it will create stone blocks for all the tiles that are zero, and then I used spread players to teleport a squid to a random block over here. Then it will be teleported relatively above one of these squids. And then it will set the squid underneath him to either 2 or 4. And that number is, again, randomly chosen using spread players on this squid. And this row also summons the item frames. And it makes sure there isn't an extra tile added when you did not move anything around. But that's way too advanced to explain. <laughs> so, so, if you want to see how that works, feel free to download the world. Or not, because it's pretty addictive. Um, and that's it. Thanks for watching and... Um, so what should I say now? You should make a fart sound and then end the video abruptly. What? You know, a fart sound. You want me to make... Yes, using your mouth. I'm not going to do that. No, no, you should definitely do that. People love it. No, they don't. That, that's stupid. Seriously, try it. No, I'm just... No. Trust me, it will be fun. No, I'm just going to end the video with a black screen and thanks for watching. Well, okay, if you say so.